Allegheny River now, aren't we? Sure. Does anyone know who this is? G'day everyone, my name's Dan and I'm from I'm from Sydney and I've managed to come over to America to learn with the best. So young Jacob Grubbs here and uh, Jared from Adventures of Purpose. Been a great kind of group effort the last couple of days. We've gone on a lot of cars, we've cleared a lot of areas, we've had a very successful time. So we get time, I've got a couple of minutes with my mate Jacob here, heading up the river and on to the next bit. Yeah, so um, on, on the title, I said I'm helping you find your, your, your Oh, dog. you threw me under the bus already, yeah. <laughs> so we're Here, hoping... This. Um, which are, yeah, right there. We're hoping that... I just dropped my phone as I was putting the boat in, but the problem for me is it's got all my phone numbers and it's got my police badge in it and oh, I just feel so silly, so... so Sorry I'm, for the rocking. You want to sit down with it? Well, uh, so guys, what I want you to do right now, I don't have his name in this description, but please go and follow Down Under Dan Diving. If somebody will drop his link in the description or in the uh, chat room, go and like this guy. Like, there's been so many times I've told Dan that one of these days I go to Australia. Well, I guess he didn't believe me, so he said, "Heck, really, came to America." So I hope, I hope you're enjoying your time here with the AWP group. Let's. I hope we can find your phone. That's for sure. So if you want to flip it back around, and absolutely. Hit. And look, I've had such a ball here, and it has been uh, a Hold great on. learning experience. Oh, holy <laughs> Jacob's a very good driver. <laughs> Oh, and do you know what? The, the thing that has really impressed me the most is the people. Is the people here? The people in America I have found to be so lovely. Not just the teams that I'm with, working with, but just the people in the restaurants and just meeting them on the street. Americans, mate, I have a newfound respect for you guys and I appreciate you letting me into your country for starters. So, That's we, awesome. We're glad to have you, man. Like. I don't know if you guys have figured this out, but Dan, down under Dan diving, dove on over 50 vehicles yesterday. The dude was unstoppable. I went, I knew I went soon, okay? So I had to take a lot of time out um, of the water because it's so cold. So yeah, I have my dry suit, but my underlayer may or may not be in Lindsay's garage. So uh, yeah, so. I, I've been in my dry suit, or uh, my wet suit. It's cool. G'day, Diane. Uh, I know on what, four vehicles a while ago? Oh, at least four. You pulled at least four plates up, so... There, and there was a couple there that were on top of each other. Some older ones. There was a... There was a... Uh, I don't want to... Um, a Hemi RT. Uh, um, was that the Charger? The Dog Charger. That was a newer, newer one. So... Other than that, guys, is there uh, any questions you'd like to ask Dan? Uh, he's looking at the chat right now, so he'll be able to answer them. So I just want you guys to check out Dan Under Dan Diving and support him like he does support me. Because he's in Australia doing the same exact thing we're doing. I've got um, three cases that I'm working in Australia at the moment. We've got Nick Solis, we've got Dale Nicholson, and we've got Young Taj. From Victoria, so we still got a lot of searching to do. Be back down in Tasmania around uh, the last two weeks of January, and we continue our searching then. So got lots and lots to do. Let me just flick you back over, to Jacob, and I'll answer some questions if I can. Hello from Sweden. Hello, Susan, Lynn. I am enjoying your country very much, and we are both doing pretty good. We get to hang out together. Sorry for my hand. Ah, there's Nick, uh, Jason Solis, that's Nick's uh, son. Hello, Jason. David, how you going, David? Linda? So anybody who is asking me, or anybody probably in the comments saying I don't have my live vest on, I am a complete flotation device. I will be fine. This stuff is right here. 
I can float all day long in it, so I don't really need my my uh, my. If I get it wet, my fist will explode. <laughs> so I'm wet. So we're just going over there and trying to recover his phone. Um, at least if we can just find it, maybe we can dry it out. Well, at the very least, I can get the SIM card out of it and um, just buy a new phone so I can at least talk to my family. So without it, I can't contact my family. So, And that's one of the hardest things I've found, being away from my family at this time. It's um, four weeks that I'll be away, so it's a big ass. Yeah, so if anybody's wondering why this boat's rocking, uh, just recently, in the past hour, my trim motor just blew up on me. So it's it's at a position right now to where I can actually go pretty fast. Uh, we're going about 27, but anything else. It's really how he drives. No. <laughs> yes. Um, I tell you what, I haven't laughed so hard in a long time. Having you here has been a blast. Mate, it's it's been an absolute blast. Apart from today with the loss of my phone, I'm still a bit miserable feeling sorry for myself. So Jacob's taking me up to where we pushed the boat in and hopefully it's just sitting there in the water. What, what really sucks is like where we were, we just drove down there to try to check a vehicle out, but they already had checked this vehicle. So all we did was basically take a boat ride and then now we got to go back what, another five miles, four miles down river? Yeah. It was Tracy from Tweed Heads said, G'day. G'day, Tracy. I love Tweed Heads. Love diving underneath the bridges there. You just got to watch out for the bull sharks. So is that a... Um, That's that, up on the Queensland, New South Wales border. My uh, wife and I love going there. Does your wife dive? She snorkels. She doesn't dive. Okay. Awesome. I just brought my daughter, my youngest daughter, Kira. She just got a... Uh, <coughs> a BCD instead of Rex for her birthday. Awesome. How many cars have we dove so far? Oh, I've kind of lost track, to be perfectly honest. There was um, the missing person one, which you'll see on Jared's channel. There's been seven or eight before I met up with Jacob. We did between 50 and 80 cars yesterday. Dove maybe 20 this morning. You I dove on another seven today. Seven. Yeah, it's out of, just crazy. A lot of them are really old. And um, like we're talking 50s and 60s kind of cars. Yeah, Jocelyn was found. We just found that out ourselves. So our thoughts and prayers go out to the family. Very sad. Is the, uh, is the camera pointed on me? It is. Now Thank it's you. not. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, so with which also being found, it, it definitely is, is heartbreaking. But at least her family knows where she's at. So yeah. So she can they can go into the healing process. But, not um, not spending years actually not knowing. So that that's can the be hardest a, part. That's the hardest part of this job, you know, it's not knowing. I know Jason is on the watching this chat now, so. Jason has spent three weeks with me searching for his dad down in Tasmania and it's heartbreaking because when you find a car you get all you try not to get too excited but there was one particular car we found it was on a blind corner no guardrail looked on sonar just like the car we were looking for and when we um, dove on it it was just another completely random car so you get those highs and lows, so it's really hard to see families go through that. Uh, Jason is a great man and is so determined to find answers for his father. I promise him I will not give up until I've checked every body of water in Tasmania. We've spent, my wife and I have spent three weeks down there, and another two weeks in January, we got big plans. Okay, who else have we got on here? We've got Mountaineer something I saw, sorry, g'day. Got a couple of people who have become members. Jacob. Well, well thank you so much. That, that's 24 amazing. in a 10 month. You've got 279, um, 286 viewers, 129 likes. 
Make sure you smash Jacob's like button. So really guys, I, I, I wanted to get on here to show that Down Under Dan Diving is a heck of a man and with his experience as a diver, what I see and his relentless Crikey, James! Whoa! Oh. Yeah, yeah, wave at me. Dooley, dooley, Jacob. You're killing me, mate. I don't have a trim motor. Right. Dan, you could have just asked to go for a ride. You didn't have to throw your phone in the water. Trust me, I wouldn't have thrown it in if I had any common sense at all. Um, so, yeah, I think we'll... We'll, we'll try to find a place that has a trip over for this. Um, yep. We try to replace it, or we try to repair it, but the, one of the brushes were broke. Okay. So we kind of we we kind of rigged it up to where it would work, but we knew that we needed to get a new one, and it finally went out. Someone asked, John asked, what happened? Um, Jacob's driving happened. <laughs> I tell you what. I feel more comfortable diving with bull sharks than in the boat with Jacob. But saying that, he is taking me up to go look for my phone. So he no, just I hit was, a couple of waves. I, I was Got a bit like, excited. I was going to say, I can turn around. Hold on, Daniel. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. I'm holding on. Jen just gave you three bucks. Cheers, Jen. Thank you. Thanks, Rob, for subscribing to my channel. Much appreciated, mate. But yeah, definitely check out his content. Um, He's doing good things in Australia. He's doing exactly what we're doing here. Um, he's actually lifting cars out. Some of his cars aren't able to come out due to the fact that some of the law enforcement, you got to go through a whole bunch of... Oh, we, we have some local council issues. Yeah. That That's more the issue. And because of my full-time job that I have, I've got to play very nicely. Yes. So it's a little bit more complicated for me. Um, but... You, but you still have recovery. Yeah, yeah. There's a particular river that um, I don't have the same issues with the council, so we just go big fat to it anyway. But there, there's like over 40 cars in that river. It's more that we've had so many floods in the last 12 months that the river's always up. And so it's just too dangerous to dive. So we're kind of been waiting for good weather so we can dive it. So hopefully over summer, uh, we've got Michael Oliver. He's giving me a hand to remove some cars. And I've got uh, Shervo and Dan. Got a couple of good mates who really have uh, been very uh, instrumental in helping me do the hard yards. Let me, uh, let me see this for a second. We spun around. There we go. And uh, are we yelling? Can you guys hear us pretty good? Seven to Dan, Miss Arkansas C. Sassy. Arkansas? Arkansas. That's a heck of a name. It is. I love his hat. <laughs> Linda Shoon, sounds good. Thank you, Linda. Your daughter did not get in the water today. She was going to. Um, we were trying to get her in uh, with me on this, these two, three dives, but the way things worked out, it just, it just didn't happen today. So we're definitely getting her in the water. The um, access to tomorrow. water has been really difficult today, so we just were in a ferry that was really hard. You can actually get the boats in there, and there's big long distances between the boat ramps, so it's made it hard to actually set up properly and get things in the water. But time to go, Tom and should be in there. No girl power. Yeah. Where is Lindsay today? Lindsay is actually. Where's Crocodile Dundee? Uh, Lindsay's actually driving the RV to the to the boat ramp where he had lost his phone. Yeah. Now I'm not the only person who's lost a phone on this trip, so <laughs> my other fellow Carson he found his phone, so he set the bar pretty high. Well, he he took a scooter across Pittsburgh. He actually left two phones, and he got them both back. So. Oh wow. He's very, very lucky. And then he met a fan, and a fan gave him a lift back. It's really cool. I think I recognize him on the street. Hey, Carson, I'll give you a lift. No, that was, uh, what was her name? Um, 
Reagan. Reagan, that's it. Reagan, Reagan, thank you so much if you're watching. Give me Carson a ride back home. And he appreciated it tremendously. So, hi. She hasn't dove yet. We're going to, uh, we were trying to get her in the water. We've been trying to get her in the water for the past two days. She was dressed and ready yesterday, but uh, temperature wise, it just it didn't work out. But we're going to get her in the water. It's actually pretty hot tonight. It is pretty hot. <laughs> Um, but we're definitely, I just wanted to bring you guys up to speed on what we're doing. Um, you know, we had recovered Todd Domino. What, Saturday? No. Sunday? I don't even know what day it is today. No? Uh, it's, I check on my phone, but I don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to laugh a little as you just rock backwards and rock in the corner and cry. <laughs> Hello, Ringo. Gordon Hart, thank you guys so much for the donations. But again, I want everybody to go over to Down Under Dan Diving. I don't care if it's now, later, tomorrow. Just keep it up. This guy's, this this gentleman right here has been doing a lot for a, for several families over there that you've been trying to help. Okay, and even if you just get a chance to watch one of my videos, that'd be really appreciated. We, we, we need to figure out how to get old Jacob over to uh, Australia, right? Absolutely. Who would like to see Down Under Jacob? Leave a comment. <laughs> Smash that like button and leave it. Let's let's see if we can get a um, enough interest to get Jacob down to Australia. It's got to be. Plenty for him to do. We'll get him with some snakes and some sharks. <laughs> we'll have a ball. <laughs> Been a subscriber for months with Dan. Awesome. I'm glad. Thank you. So, yeah, with this uh, with this trim motor being where it is, all I had to do is unscrew the uh, uh, the hydraulic, yeah. and then I'll be able to we will be able to lift it lift it up yeah. as soon as I get it onto the boat. Um, we're I think all we're just up there, yeah. I think I was gonna say I think we're almost there. So yeah, I'll be able to those barges. Well, it's still well. Thank you very much, everyone, for your comments and. Thank you, Jacob, again, for taking me up to try and find the phone. Uh, no, we're not getting off air. Hey? We're going to find your phone on air. You're going to find the phone on air. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think? You're brave. <laughs> where do you think it's at? Uh, I, th I think it's in, in the water where I pushed the boat off. Because I was the last one in the boat, pushing the boat off. And as I kind of jumped on the boat, my tummy's gone on the front part of the boat. My phone was in my pocket. Uh, along with my sunglasses case. And I got the sunglasses case, but about three minutes later I went, oh bugger, I don't have a phone. <laughs> so, you know that, I'm sure everyone knows that sinking feeling when you realise you've lost your keys or your phone, and it's like, oh man. Yeah, and, we're... and it's worse for me, because I'm overseas, Yeah. and I don't remember phone numbers, all my family's phone numbers are in my phone. So, so if your wife finds have you contacted you? you have can't contact them. Oh no. So, at the very worst, we'll have to buy a new phone and go to Facebook and Facebook. She may not like me as a friend though, I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't. <laughs> um, definitely been super cold water. I think the water's around 60 degrees. Yeah. 55, 60. Um, not too bad. Um, it is withstandable in, in a wetsuit if you're in the sun afterwards. My, my leave, leave a comment. One, if you think that um, we're going to find the phone, and two, if you think we're not going to find the phone. Let's get a little bit of a, a thing going on. Jacob, what do you reckon? Well, you reckon one or two? Do you, you, you reckon I ought to go and, and park away from it so we don't run it up? Mate, hey, you're, the, you're the captain. Ooh. You're Gilligan. You're, no, I must be Gilligan. You're, you're the captain. You must be Gilligan. Um, Skip up. I think, I think. He had a Terry Towling hat though, not a, a Cobra. I, I think. Well, people are putting numbers up. One, one, two, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fearing. I always fear the worst. I think it's gone, but we have to try. My life's in that phone. And all my photos I've been taking of the US are oh, gone. Oh no. Um, hmm. 
Mom said that if I go to if I go to Australia, I have to take mom too. <laughs> no worries, I've got a room. I have to share a bed with her though. Hey, look, Chaos Divers, they're on live. Hi, Lindsay. Are you over here yet? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's all right. No. 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 All right. Uh, so. I won't hold your phone because I'll probably drop it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh. No, that no, was, no. It's good. That was that was good. Right. He said it's great. All right. So. This is what we did first. We went over here. Should I should park on the other side, but I was gonna try to park it to where you can see. Do you remember the spot? I remember exactly where I parked, but I don't want to park over top of it. It's to the right. You see, uh, yeah. So let's just park over here. Yeah, I was going to say, hold on, you might lose more than... I think those are rocks. Oh. Hold on. Ooh, look at that. That was a beautiful park job, wasn't it? Did you get your feet wet? Yeah, because you're the one going... Oh, wait. So where do you reckon... Okay, so... Uh, here, clip this in. And then throw this... All right. I reckon that's probably. Sorry. Are you gonna lose my phone if I hand it to you? Just wait two seconds. <laughs> Here, away from the water. Here. Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> are you far enough away from the water? I don't know. Which way are we going? We're going that way. Look at that man in that wetsuit. All right. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, okay. Generator. Oh, right. Because everyone has a generator on their boat. Okay, we, we didn't park over here. Absolutely not. <laughs> we parked. That was it. We parked over here. We gotta walk slowly. Can, can, can you like sneaking up on a crop, right? That's it. Oh, oh my goodness! What? Look at that! Oh, well done, Jacob. I've still I got my police you badge is still in there. My phone. You found it. Woohoo! Uh, now I just go buy a new phone. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if the camera turns on. Uh, don't turn it on. No, it turned it on itself. Oh. I'll try and turn it off. I was wanting you to do a whole whole episode of me like trying to sneak up on a crop. Come here, know? buddy. Come on. <laughs> oh. All right. Oh, strength, mate. That was stressful. So he's got his badge How in there and everything. Is that? This man just saved my ass. <laughs> well done. Thank you, everyone who believed in us. Put number one. We're not judging you if you put number two because I tell you what, I was a little bit. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I've got my phone. Oh. Thank you. Yeah, it, it, but it's showing lines. I'll, I'll just buy, I'll have to buy a new phone, so we have to find a cheap phone. If anyone's got an old, um, this is really old Apple, anyone got an old phone they want to throw in my way? Then. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to buy one. Wait a minute, I think I might have one. Oh, look, there's even money in there. Holy dooly. I've got American money and stuff in there. What else have I got? I've got my. Strapco? You don't even have Strapco here, do you? What is a Strapco? So that, like building materials. Oh, okay. So, stuff. Oh, got my police identification. It's a bit sodgy, but I got it. A bit what? Sodgy. Wait. Oh. Sodgy. I don't know what sodgy is. How is it? Australians, he doesn't know what sodgy. Soggy. Sodgy. Soggy. Sodgy. <laughs> it's like soggy, but yeah, sodgy, more bogan. What do you, what do you call potato chips? Not potato chips, French fries. We call them chips. Okay. Australians agree with me. Chips. Chips are like what the seagulls like to take off you when you're at the beach. <laughs> Little buggers. Those are crackers. 
Hey? Those are crackers. No, they're chips. <laughs> so you go down the beach, you get a nice fish and chips, sit on the beach, look over oh. the, the waterway, maybe have a beer or two. Mate, it's a life. Who would like to come to Australia? Remember, down under Jacob. That's what we need. <laughs> down under Jacob. All right, guys. Is there any other questions you would like to ask? Because we're waiting on Lindsay to get here. Watch your step. Yep. Woo. Put everything in a closed jar with dried rice and stuff out. Put your phone in a bag of rice. All in a bag of rice. Yep, absolutely. They say silicon beads are good too, but I reckon this is toast. Like it's a really old phone. It, it was on its way out anyway, but I'm too tight. Tighter than a um, crocodile's clacker, mate. So I don't want to spend any money. So we I had my old crappy phone for you for a few. I can't remember how many years now, but it's kind of forced me to have to get a new one. But what you guys got you had everything one. else in there? No, I took all my cards out and my passport out Let's separately because I know that I'm a goose and I drop stuff all the time. <laughs> so, mate, what a cracking good find! Thank you, mate. You're welcome. Um, what, have we got, what questions have we got here? I don't know yet. Are you yeah, going to pull out those down. cards out of the water? Uh, Deidre, uh, we're not currently right now. We are looking. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! You're going to say, oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. No. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Loudly, with passion. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. They're not going to Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi. Ozzy. Oi. Ozzy. Oi. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Oi, oi, oi. Oh, well, we'll learn him. Don't worry. We'll uh, learn him. I, I already taught the AWP boys it. I, so I, in the morning when I wake them up, I go, Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Aussie. I love it. Why are you wearing your life vest on the Because I'm day? special. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what. I, I, I don't know. That's. Oh. So anyway. What was it? What was we just. I was just about. Oh. So the vehicles. No, we're not cars out. Yeah. No, we're not pulling the cars out right now. Um. Currently, everybody's going another direction to help some more families out while we're on this journey. That doesn't mean that we're not coming back. No, not at all. But currently, right now, we have a schedule that we have to meet, and with you know Jared's team and uh, Nick's team, and well Peter and Nick, um, and us, we're we're going all different directions. So. So I'm going with Jared and Carson. No, no Carson's going with Brandon. We've got Brandon, and we've got is it John? Peter. 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 So we got Peter, myself, and Jared, and Carson. Oh no, Carson's going with you. We're getting Devon. I was going to say Carson's not going with us. We're, we're getting no, well no, not you, but Devon and yeah. How much did it come to house as a what? How much does it cost to... Oh, that's, I missed it. Sorry. How do you do it? House. How much does it cost to come to the house in South Australia? Oh, come to USA from Australia. Oh, so it cost me $3,000 for um, a return flight. So, a dollar ruse, huh? <laughs> I tell you what, our Australian money is so much more prettier than yours. Like, you've got this paper crap, and we've got really nice, pretty plastic money. Mind you, Lizzie's gone now, so we won't have Lizzie on our on our our paperwork. But we'll have to have Charles, so we have to actually make our you have to make your, your our currency. papers. We we'll have to make our bills bigger to allow for his ears. <gasps> oh, you can't be saying that. Can't be saying that. There's a line. Where's the line? I can't find the line. Here, I want, the here, line is gone. Here, I'm going to take my my. Uh, here, take the phone. I'm going to take my. I don't know. Is that facing you? That. I can't tell. They don't need to watch me do this. I was just wanting to Do you want to, to do the music? <laughs> All right. So if you guys haven't checked out Mermaid Springs and you guys want to learn how to become a scuba diver, I want you guys to go over there and leave Mermaid Springs a good review. Review. Yeah. Okay. Anything else for this I'm so guy happy. over here? I'm so happy. <laughs> So you'll be able to, I'll be able to get the SD, SD card out, put it in another phone, and at least I'll be able to call my wife tonight and say how stupid I am. So that's something. She already knew that, but that's it, it just reinforces it. Greenwall Fishing. Good. Actually, speaking of you, 
I seen about a 45 pound catfish in a SUV today. I've seen a high heap of um, big mouth bass, you call them? Large mouth. Large mouth, yep. large mouth bass. Large mouth, yep. And I'm actually just building a fish farm at home and I'm gonna grow barramundi at home. Barramundi. Barramundi, bloody good, bloody big fish, bloody good fish. Awesome. So, what was it that we, that I thought was so, what did we talk about yesterday? We talked about a lot of things, Jacob. Yeah, yeah you did. I don't remember. He wants to catch a squirrel. Oh, how fast are they? <laughs> we were we were driving along and we came to this park and there was a this really strange looking cat. It had black and white stripes on it. And I said, boys, stop the <laughs> oh, stop no. the um, RV. And I jumped out and I ran after this bloody big cat and I couldn't catch him. They were all laughing for some reason. I got no idea why they were laughing. Oh no. But, yeah, I couldn't catch it, and squirrels, they're bloody fast. And the little chipmunks, they're kind of cute. I like them. I seen some night, I saw a bear. Sure, it was dead on the side of the road, but I saw a bear. Yeah. Oh, what else have I seen? Um, I've seen a, a Jacob. I've seen, seen a Jacob. <laughs> seen lots of nice fish. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so he chased a skunk. If anybody hasn't figured that out yet. Yeah. Yep, so now they're saying skunks. Apparently they leave a bad smell, but I don't know. I couldn't catch him anyway. What's the easiest? Oh, yeah. Then he wanted to pet a squirrel, and I told him if you go up to Chicago, they'll come up and eat out of your hand. They're kind of cute with their tail, and we don't have them in Australia. They don't have squirrels we in have Australia. We have, like, brush-tailed possums, and they're only out at night, and we feed them, but we... Yeah. The little chipmunks are, are cute, aren't they? They are cute. They're very cute. Yeah. You can't catch them. No. Well... Some of them... They're really skitty, so the couple that I saw were munching on some nuts underneath with these squirrels and a blue jay and all that kind of stuff, and... I kind of just moved a little bit and they were gone. So, no chance of catching them. And the squirrels, I don't reckon I could catch one of them either. They're, they're bloody far. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You got it. Okay, so, this guy sent me a boomerang. I did. Yeah, I should have sent him this. He should have sent me a stick. I should have sent him this. So, Jacob, when you throw a boomerang, you don't go like that because they break. Yeah, yeah, I know, okay. right? Yeah. You gotta yeah. push it around. Yeah. Low to high. And it never comes back. No, so low to high. Yeah. And then you get like the wind tunnel underneath the edge of the boomerang, it'll come back. You never That's what you gotta back. do. It yeah. never comes back. Well, you're not an <laughs> Aborigine, so you can't really expect it to work. And there's different types of boomerangs. The ones that I sent you uh, are like a. Um, like a, I don't know. Oh, they were beautiful. I love them. They were very them. nice. They had beautiful Aboriginal art on it. And yeah. he broke them. Um, I broke one. Broke corner. one. You still got a couple more. I was playing with my son and it went up in the air and it came back down on the concrete. Yeah. Which I wasn't even around, but it flew over there. Oh, <laughs> uh, well. Um, there is one. You have to. Hang on, I'll go stand on the high side. So I'll look so you just saw so you look taller? That's it. There we go. First thing Jacob said to me. Oh, you look taller on video. <laughs> what a way. <laughs> okay, so. John Kiesler has a phone for Dan. Read his comment. Nice. Thank you, John. I'm not even sure where we're going next. I'm on the road for another, what are we, two and a half weeks or something. Eventually making it over to Bend, Oregon. But we've got... Uh, pretty much driving across the country, which is really exciting because I've seen some beautiful country. We've been very lucky to get this time of year for the um, the, the changing of the colours of the leaves. Oh yeah, like autumn. We, our, our forests aren't anything like that. They're, they're eucalyptus or they're pine or scrub kind of thing. So, and, or rainforest. But the, you, you don't call the woods woods. You call it bush, right? Yep. Or scrub. Or scrub. Scrub is probably um. More, if you go into the bush, yeah, you go to the bush. Um, that could be anything from a hike to whatever. Oh. If you get out outback, then you call it a scrub kind of thing because it's it's sparse. It's not thick. So Island Big Bird, there's your shout out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. So somebody asked on here, have you ever have you seen a raccoon yet? 
I've seen a raccoon. We saw lots of them on the track, like lots of tracks down near the water when we were getting Donny missing missing here. Yeah. Um, I've seen a couple of squash on the road. Yeah. Uh, That's roadkill. I think I I think I've seen yeah I think I've seen them. Saw one bald eagle. That was really cool. Well, you did see American bald eagle, huh? I saw American bald eagle. Like we have the wedge tail eagles, and we have a lot of. Um, like predative birds but yeah it was, it was one of my things to kick off and see that so i've seen a, a beautiful um eagle so that was really cool awesome you need to go further than west you need to go further west in bend oregon you will enjoy it talk about like california stuff oh okay yeah well you reckon i should come back uh, Do you reckon I should make a second trip one day yeah, yes yes yeah. Uh, well I'm, I'm it was a big sure. thing of my wife to let me to come away <laughs> for a month especially birthday month i've missed my wife and my three kids birthdays they're all october oh my goodness so, happy birthday guys yeah so i missed all those so husband of the year <laughs> so <laughs> and guys listen when you guys um when you guys are seeing this please go under to down and i can't talk just down go ahead dan diving down under dan diving yeah I am now focusing the channel basically just with the recovery side of things. If you go look at some of the older stuff, you'll see there's a World War II tunnel, um, which is really cool. Awesome. So you, the only way to access it is to dive underwater to get this tunnel. And it's where they used to tie the submarine nets across Sydney Harbour. So oh, if you come to Australia, mate, I'm taking you on that because that's a really fun dive. I want, I want to do that. Um, yeah. He, But he keeps on talking about everything. So. Everything in Australia tries to kill you. No, it doesn't try to kill you. It has the potential to kill you, yes. But as long as you don't poke it with a stick, you're pretty right. Like, I live in the Blue Mounds. we got a stack of funnel webs. They're like the world's most dangerous spider. Um, they're in my pool all the time. We just scoop them out and get rid of them. Or just, just... if they're alive, you take them up to the reptile park and they milk the venom out of them. We get snakes here, of course. We get, you know, brown snakes, red bellies. Basically, a lot of pythons, that kind okay. of stuff. You go out to my farm and we've got tiger snakes. They're a little bit cranky. You don't want to... I won't pick them up in um, summer, but winter's okay. But. Somebody said those those um, uh, those spiders are huge. Oh, huntsmen's. Yes, so we've got our huntsmen's. And they're as big as your hand, absolutely. But they're, they're nothing to worry about. Yeah, they scare you when they come up on your windscreen in the morning. They scare you. But we have a spider called a prasad. It has little stripes on its legs. But the worst thing about the Prasad spider, same size as a huntsman, but it'll jump on you. Oh, and no. they're, they're really cranky. So <laughs> you got to watch out for them. Guys, listen. Check Down Under Dan Diving out. Subscribe to him. Show him some love. Show him some support. He's doing the same thing in Australia, like I was saying on the boat ride over here. I have been saying for two years I wanted to meet this man, probably longer. Yeah. And we finally get to meet us. It's been fun. Look, you got to understand about my videos. My videos aren't refined. I'm cameraman, director, diver, researcher, driver, you name it. I do everything. So, camera holding up. Yeah, my camera not shots. Not that one. My camera, not this one now. But my camera shots are pretty average, a bit shaky. If you can put through, live through that, and yeah, I'm slowly trying to build myself up. And as I said, I don't have the same kind of following as these guys do, and that's okay. You guys are doing great work over here, and I'm Thank just you. proud to learn from you guys you. and take on board what I've got so I can apply it to the cases I've got in Australia. Because I want to find answers for Jason, I want to find answers, find answers for Dale's family, and also for Taj. Yeah. I do apologize for my hands shaking. I'm getting a little chilly. I'm going to go get my uh, warm clothes on, actually my dry clothes, and. Uh, we're gonna get off of here. Love each and every one of you. Keep on supporting the channel. We're gonna be heading to Steubenville to uh, search for Karen Adams, and uh, these guys are gonna be heading completely different directions. Yeah. Not Remember, sure. guys, every day is a gift. Use it wisely. That's what we're trying to do. Keep diving. Lindsay will say, "Love you, bye." Embrace the chaos. Eric from Rider Dive keep diving it's not where to stop love each and every one of you and i'll see you guys later thank God you